Okay, so now uh, let's look at n-grams and how they relate to regular languages. Uh, so one important point that I would like to mention here is that uh, n-grams are very similar to regular languages. In fact, uh, HMMs are equivalent to weighted finite state transducers, which have been used in some of the earlier papers on part of speech tagging just the same way as HMMs. Uh, we're going to talk more about uh, regular languages in a separate lecture, so stay tuned about that. So one thing that you need to know about uh, n-gram models is that they can be considered to be uh, generative models. So uh, we can look at the unigram model first. The algorithm is very straightforward. You generate a word from the distribution of unigrams, then you generate the next one, and then you stop when you generate the end of the sentence symbol uh, slash s. So this is essentially what a unigram model looks like. We have w1, w2, then w3, and then all the rest of the words in the sentence until wn in the final symbol. This is different from a background model. In the background model, we have to generate first a special symbol to start the sentence so that we can have a conditional probability for the next word. Then we're going to generate the next word based on uh, its probability given that s has been generated. Then we generate the second word based on the first one and so on. And again, we stop when we reach the end of the sentence. So the graphical model looks very different though. Uh, it looks like this. We have uh, uh, conditional probabilities between every pair of words until the end. So one important engineering trick that I would like to mention briefly. Uh, so the maximum likelihood values that we uh, estimate for uh, the probabilities are often on the order of 10 to the minus 6 or even less, sometimes as little as 10 to the minus 12. When you multiply many of those numbers, for example, in a sentence with 20 words, you may have to multiply as many as 20 values. So you would get a number on the order of 10 to the minus 120th power. This is a really tiny number, and in most computers, it would lead to arithmetic underflow. And therefore, it will be rounded down to zero, therefore avoiding any work that you have done so far. So to avoid this problem, uh, there is one important uh, engineering trick that you can use. Uh, can you think what it is? And I'll give you the answer in a second. So the answer is to use logarithms, specifically base 10 logarithms. Uh, instead of having something like 10 to the minus 6 power, we'll get a number like minus 6. Instead of multiplying probabilities, we're going to add the logarithms of the probabilities. And then at the end, if we need to, we can always exponentiate back and get into the normal space. So we have something like this, 10 to the minus 6 becomes minus 6. We use the sums, and then we're done. So this concludes the first part of language modeling. Uh, stay tuned for the next one.